Hello, how are you? In this video I'm going to show you some Firestorm tips. Maybe you know them, but some people maybe they don't know how to improve your experience with Firestorm. This is the one I am using, so let's start. And the first one is about the light. So as you can see now I own my parcel and uh, I'm using this uh, the region what it has. You can choose here different different wind lights but you can also do your custom one so let's say let's say I'm going to open the photo tools if you don't have these photo tools you can right click here below right click toolbar buttons find it the one the the tabs you want and just hold gra hold and grab them and and release here and it's going to show you this option so here in photo tools I'm going to create a new sky preset so not matter how I do moving see I don't like this default and I don't I can I cannot see well so I'm going to minimize here even if I move see it's good to use this for a romantic evening checking the sunset sunrise etc but for <coughs> daily time even if you are working or shopping etc you can um, create your own so let's say here in gamer I'm going to increase see I'm going to increase the light I'm going to check where I like it the is angle ah, nice moon below me so I'm going to be checking different um, settings here I don't like this see look nice behind for a picture but <coughs> I don't want it now so you play and once you are happy you can do my my tutorial when light for example right so here says save so I'm going to be where where I find this new the one I knew so here I just click here my tutorial wind light and I'm going to be using that uh, wind light okay so well maybe sometimes you want to del delete one and change to other you can have many settings here different wind lights you have and they are going to <coughs> be showing up here all the names you create for different settings pictures etc but okay so if you want to to delete some some wind light i come here uh, environment but I want to delete one preset see environment sky delete a preset so it's going to show you the ones you have and you can delete here okay is the way <coughs> you can do so I like this like for now it's showing me better light uh, you can see better but I can use another depends on what you want so <coughs> the other one is the other tip is about I'm going to tell you about the minimap I have minimized here now but I always have has it open and as you can see it's not showing me like uh, the 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 minimap the minimap I you see in in the second life viewer so you can change the settings here um, you can change um, to show you property lines is going to draw you with white the parcels you can see your region the parcels and <coughs> you can choose different uh, parcels for sale or uncheck it is not going to share to show them so uh, parcels parcels for sale is going to 
yellow them and you can go and check okay so another thing you can do is um, show objects in blue is going to show you the ob the objects you are owning so you can choose here different like physical scripted and temporary okay and also I want to change I'm, I want to I'm going to uncheck that <coughs> and in instead of terrain I'm going to change to world map textures so it looks better see so you can do that the same in in world map you can check the show parcels for sale etc so <coughs> let's leave this minimap there and yeah you can use radar or something like to be checking who's around but I don't use it I what I do always is have my minimap open and it's very helpful is a radar so let's go to the next tip the next tip is about graph and move objects as you can see when I put my my cursor over the object is telling me the the name and uh, different position distance etc so this this setting I'm going to tell you where it is but first I'm going to tell you how to graph an object so I go to control plus P and open my preferences in Firestorm I go to build 2 and below here use control plus mouse to graph and man manipulate so if I check here and do OK so holding control see it's changing to a hand and you can graph and move holding control and holding left mouse you can move the object is not just in edit mode and etc so you can move it hold holding alt I left click and and lock my camera there and holding control I can move it see so it's another tip how to move objects and I hope you like so let's let's um, go to the next tip okay I always when I teleport uh, my avatar lands uh, flying so I'll show you how it does so there are there are settings in the in in the preferences like um, here in chat and here command lines so <coughs> maybe people don't know you can use uh, some people don't know can use a calculator so for example uh, I if I type here calc and I do phi plus multiply 5 and I enter is going to give me an answer if I divide I need to type first this and space and and do the operation and it's going to tell me another <coughs> option you can find here the ones I use more is the one like go to floor F F L R is floor for example we are I'm going to minimize and type here and it's going to teleport me to ground I am flying and it's sending me to ground see but I have a prim so I'm going to stop flying I have a prim here and that way is how you go from high to floor like this <coughs> okay so how I do if I have something here and I and I want to move it like let's say um, 
chair okay let's say this lucky chair I have and I want I want to move it not take it not take it to inventory and re release again so I'm going to go um, <coughs> let me show navigation and I'm going to teleport back and what I'm going to do I want the chair rest here see so I'm going to <coughs> right click and go to edit mode and here is the position size and rotation so I'm going to copy this see I want the chair comes here and I close this and I go again to floor okay stop flying and uh, <coughs> I'm going to do this and edit mode I'm going to pass the here the position see it's gone now <coughs> I can go back and you can see my chair is there because I told the chair to come here using this this uh, object position okay so to fly avatar you can go control plus p then up here find fly and move and view fly land on holding up John down cross uh, general Mm, mm, uh, teleport sorry always fly after teleporting so you don't know where you are going to land so just click here and ok <coughs> so another command you can use is go to height you can go to different heights typing here gth is equal to to height so <coughs> I'm going to tell you how space and I choose an, any altitude like 2000 and it's going to teleport me there once you are there you can rest <coughs> a platform using command so I'm going to type here rest plat if I just enter that it's going to rest me a uh, uh, 30 by 30 meters square meters the on each side is t is 30 meters but I can choose the size if I type here rest plat but I want x different different size I can check I, I can type here 64 and now my platform is 64 how I know if this platform when I'm resting it is inside my parcel I am flying high I don't see my my ground so I'm going to again to preferences and inside build 2 I'm going to check this show boundary up to maximum build height so right okay I, I say okay save it and you can <coughs> go to edit and about land now it's drawing me drawing me a uh, yellow boundaries so I see my my platform is outside so what I need to do is about land um, you can see part of this sky bo box is inside my parcel so what I'm going to do is move it the maximum size you can um, do with prim normal prim is um, 64 by 64 so this way <coughs> you are aligning your platform inside your parcel and this way you know this way you know your objects when you are 
pressing your objects um, I'm going to close about line I know my parcel is this platform and I, I am not going to rest any of my objects outside my parcel like this I, I didn't know until now this part this building and it happens because the root the root of this uh, skybox must be uh, somewhere like the floor so it's not returning the it's not showing me because I have here option show select only my objects and but now I can see see the root this yellow root goes all the way it's like the floor and most of the part is inside so it's not returning the the this platform because well I have a lot rest but okay so let's jump to the next tip if you are <coughs> if you are building on ground you can hold and press control shift control alt shift and holding them press P so this is going to draw lines oh, let me see okay see how it's drawing me these lines on ground showing me the parcels boundaries so if I don't if I was not having this this um, textures and and I have a prim here to look like flat but you can see and uh, on my land it's showing also the the red boundary um, let me see well it's covering but here you can see on the other parcels and you can detect easily and you can rest your buildings inside your parcel and that's it so let's jump to the next tip the last one because I don't want to make the video so long it's about 17 minutes now so another that takes us three minutes let's see so let's see <coughs> two more tips so privacy in preferences look at so look I have all these select uh, should show look at targets don't show me any don't show my own look at so you can check I have all them check and I am not showing the people my my camera my crosshair when it's very annoying when somebody's coming on your head and they stay like 10 minutes coming you is annoying so I don't do that but um, but I can see if somebody is is coming on me and I can I can check that but I have this setting and another setting is the <coughs> sorry the user inter user interface the show hover tips so having this select check and save here and inside the 3d world is going to show me the what I was saying the object names if I move my cursor over them is going to show me the names of the objects for example this I put my cursor there and shows me with a window the name and position distance prints etc and the owner who is the owner see so you can do that here in user interface and checking all this I'm going to be showing more tips but for now it's enough I'm going to edit this video and upload I hope you like and and I'm going to upload another one soon have a good weekend and bye for now